back, everyone. So with the spring season comes a bounty of produce, and our next guest says we should take advantage of a root vegetable that is often overlooked. So here with inspiration for how to use the underappreciated radish is culinary expert Valerie Azinge. Welcome to the show. Start with the basics. What is the 411 on radishes? Yes, yeah, so radishes are root vegetables. They are a member of the Brassicaceae family. This family also has other member vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower. Uh, radishes are in season from May on until early September. Yeah. And there are many different types of radishes. You've got pink radishes, for example, which we have here today. They're pink on the outside and white on the inside. You've got daikon radishes, which are mm -hmm. white radishes a little bit longer. You've got watermelon radishes, which are green on the outside and hot pink on the inside. And you've got French radishes, which are very similar to red radishes and so many other radishes. Now, radishes are very, very budget friendly. However, they do have a slightly spicy peppery kick, which can be a turnoff for so many people and they often get ignored at the grocery store. I know for a fact, when I go to a restaurant and I order radishes, they're always served raw and as a topping on a salad or just for food styling. But that's kind of unfortunate because radishes can be very delicious when cooked properly. Okay. Yes. okay. I'm, I'm Valerie, I'm here for this segment. I really hated, like so many people, I think radishes when I was little, and I felt like I suddenly was transformed into an adult the first time I had them and I actually <laughs> liked them. I, they threw them into a salad. I, like, I just thought, that, oh, I'm adulting here. But I feel like I've never ever cooked them myself. Maybe I've never even had them cooked. So how does cooking it changes flavor. So yeah, a lot of the times like when radishes are served, they're raw and they're very spicy with a peppery kick to it. However, when you cook radishes, so when you saute them, it actually makes them sweet. So what happens mm. when you saute radishes is it oozes out its juices, which caramelize the radishes and make it a little bit sweeter. Ooh. When you roast them or you bake them, it will dry out the juices a little bit, but it'll still maintain like a sweet flavor and a little bit of a spicy kick. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Valerie, so glad you're here because <laughs> justice for the radish, I love yeah. them. They're a big part of the Chinese they cuisine. They need some love too. Yes, yeah. and I've been eating them my whole life because as I said, in, in Chinese cuisine, we use them a lot in stir fries, in dim sum, there's radish cake, which yep. is steamed and pan fried, which we love. So, so excited to see what recipes you're showing us today. Uh, starting with this appetizer, because I see that these radishes look like little pepperonis. They're not pepperonis, they <laughs> are radishes, I promise. What is this, how do you make it? So these are toasted baguettes topped with the honey basil butter and sauteed radishes finished off with some chives and they're super mm. easy to make. You toast mm -hmm. some baguettes in the oven at like 350 for about 10 minutes. And then to make your uh, honey basil butter, just whip up some it's butter. A like a tomato. Like somehow we taste a tiny bit like a tomato mixed with something else. Anyway, carry like on. A little sweet I'm trying to figure out what it is. Yeah. <laughs> and then you um, you make your honey basil butter. Just whip up some butter, um, some basil, and some honey. And then to saute the radishes, just chop them up, toss them in some light brown sugar, mm -hmm. and a little bit of salt, and just saute them with some neutral mm, oil they're for amazing. about five to seven minutes, and that's it. All done. It's more sweet than anything. Yeah. 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 Really sweetness. Yeah. Why do these flavor combinations work so? Well, um, well, so you actually, so I use salted butter to make the honey butter basil only because the saltness in the butter cuts into the sweetness of the radishes mm. and balances out the honey as well. Uh, the herbs from like the basil and the chives give it a little bit of freshness. And yeah, you're getting a good balance of like sweet and savory going on here. And right. I may add, this pairs really well with a glass of rose. All so, right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next dish because you've a, you have a creamy radish and potato soup. Yes. Which, like, I didn't even know that you can put that into, it radishes into a soup, so take us through this you one. You absolutely can. So this is perfect for, like, those warmer months when you're craving some soup, but you want something light, super simple. Uh, roast some radishes and some bacon potatoes with some Ooh, salt wow. and pepper. And then uh, once you do that, you want to combine some coconut milk and some broth with some onions, and then bring that to a simmer puree everything in a blender, your roasted vegetables and the coconut and broth, and boom, you have a soup garnish with some parsley, super simple, good to go. I would okay. never know that there's radishes in there. Like, no. I, I would just well, be like, yeah. potato, right? You just mentioned, uh, uh, like, uh, the coconut, the radishes, yep. the roasted vegetables, this flavor combination. Why do those work all oh, together yeah. so Oh, yeah, so, well? like, the radishes and the potatoes have two different textures and two different flavors. Radishes have a bit more bite to them and are a little bit sweeter. Potatoes are a little bit softer and a little bit creamier. Mm -hmm. So you bring them together. They're like a perfect marriage, in my opinion. You have the coconut, which adds a, a little bit of tropical flavor, and the broth helps to balance those flavors as well. Okay, so Delicious. only the bulb of the radishes are what 
has been used in the recipe, recipes you're showing us today. Yes. So what if we want to not waste the tops? So if you're able to get fresh tops, you can absolutely throw them in a pesto. Mm. I usually make mm. pesto with some basil, sometimes arugula for a bit of a spicy kick, but the tops work perfectly for pesto or make a green butter. You could swap out the basil honey butter with a toasted baguette and just top it with some green butter, butter using the tops. Oh, use every part of it. Use every part that. of it. No food waste. Okay, the last one is a galette, which you've made with caramelized onion and radishes. It's so, my favorite. Oh, really? Okay, so how did you make this? Super simple. So um, get a few sheets of puff pastry. You want to thaw them overnight in the refrigerator. Okay. And then you caramelize some onions in a pan with a little bit of sugar and a little bit of oil. Top it on the uh, pastry sheet. Then top it with some sliced raw radishes. Finish it off with some goat cheese and some fresh rosemary. And bake it at about... 400 for about 30 minutes. Okay, so this is my you, favorite so far. Do you consider okay. this a uh, like a dessert or a main? I call it a savory dessert only because I feel you're hitting all the senses here. You've got the buttery flakiness from the puff pastry. You've got the sweetness from the onions. You have a little bit of that spiciness mm. and sweetness from the radishes, some tartness to balance out the rest of it with the goat cheese and some freshness from the rosemary. You're getting the best of both worlds. It's so lovely. It's so, yeah. good. so lovely. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is amazing. Valerie, thank you so much for converting us all. Wow. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.